Welcome, Kosha Modin, to my living room. Today we'll be unboxing something I got from Orionov Sweets. out to me asking if they could send me a package so I said yes of course and I realized when it came on my doorstep this box is so heavy I couldn't even lift it I actually had to just push it into the house let's get started unboxing and see what they sent I know Oriono sweets primarily for their nuclo Nuckel is the white candied almonds that Avona used for wedding celebrations and my, well, fiance at that time, husband now, actually ordered all of the Nuckel for our wedding from their website, which was super helpful because he's not Avon and we wanted to include it in the little gifts that we gave to all of our guests. Oh, I sent him the website link and they ordered so many boxes because we had a lot of guests. It arrived so promptly, it was perfect, it was such an easy process. So I was super excited when they reached out to me. I cannot wait to see what's in here. I'm also still fasting because we're in Ramadan. Oh my God! And I'm so excited because, you guys, I've been so homesick with this COVID stuff that's been happening. You know, I haven't been able to see my parents since Christmas. And, oh my God, I can smell it from here. They sent me rot. I didn't even know that they make rot now. Maybe they have it and I'm just out of the loop. There's a lot I'm about to find out. Even though they sent me this box, I will be sharing with you all my super honest reviews of what I think about all their goods and foods and everything like that, I really believe that transparency is the key to communicating how this all could be helpful for you guys. Oh my god, pink and white marshmallows. Ah! I don't know if you noticed, I have a thing for pink, white, and gold. Um, that's my color aesthetic and this is so cute. I was actually planning on doing a recipe and now this is even more perfect that I can have pink marshmallows with marshmallows. Alright, let's continue on. What else is... Oh my god, I didn't even know that they're behind this. So this actually is... I rely on two types of teas for Shia Choi. This is one of them. This particular brand, the Saffroni Tea, um, makes such an amazing pink shoe try. I've actually been using this because I wasn't able to find the other brand I rely on locally, Aubara's Green Tea. And so I kind of use these two interchangeably. That is so cool to know that Oriano Sweets provides this brand. That's awesome. I have no idea. This whole time I was like, I guess I just got lucky by finding another green tea that happens to work, but no, it was an Avon brand of log. I'm so excited for this one. Halal gummy bears, and they're so cutely packaged. Like you could put a little ribbon on this and give it as a gift. It's so cute. All right. Sumok, oh my God. This is such a big thing of Sumok. If you haven't cooked with sumac yet, I actually have an amazing Avon grilled cheese sandwich that I'm gonna be making soon and sharing on here that involves sumac. Um, sumac is the powdered like grapeseed. This says all natural product of Avon Sun. So that's so cool because raisins are a huge part of Avon farming. They have so many different types, not just the red and green grapes that we enjoy so many variations of raisins 
my grandfather actually had so many fields of raisins and um, they would export them all over the place. They're so delicious. I cannot tell you the depth of difference of an Avon raisin. You really have to try it yourself sometime. Oh my God. I had no idea that they do this. The ultimate rice masala, perfect for Palau and Kobli Palau. I'm gonna have to try this to see how it compares to the Palau mix I make, but this is so cool that they actually make a Palau spice blend. But no way. They even sent me sure a tangy and spicy Avon potato and chickpea salad snack. This is a very common snack that we enjoy. Okay, this is heavy too. What? They also make Toshi, spicy and sour veggie mix. So Toshi is just pickled veggies that we enjoy on the side of a lot of different foods. This is so awesome because I miss my mom's homemade Toshi. Okay guys, this is so perfect for Eid, which is coming up in just 10 days. Sheet Pera is Avon fudge. I make it at home, but it's so awesome to know that you can order it online and have it come to your house. I'm definitely gonna try all these things and let you know how they compare. But it's so cool just to know that you even have this kind of option because for the longest time, these things, no way. Oh my God, they even have the Avon. I don't know how to, I guess it is cotton candy. We've been eating this since I was a kid. There's pistachio flavored cotton candy. Ooh, baklava. Baklava is baklava. Um, I have only had the ones from Dearborn, Michigan. I've not tried ones made by Avona yet, so I'm so curious how that'll compare. Oh, of course! This takes me back to my wedding. This is knuckle. If you have not tried knuckle, you have to. And this I can already vouch for on your sweets. Knuckle is phenomenal. It's perfectly coated, the coating doesn't fall off. We have a funny tradition, I guess not funny, but like a cute tradition where they like pelt the bride and groom with sweets as, um, well with knuckle and chocolate candies when you're on the stage as a sort of congratulatory blessing showering you with sweets. These are the raisins I was just talking about. So Avon raisins are so different. These are 100% organic and a product of Avonistan. Like I said, if you haven't tried them, you really have to. That's, I save all the Avon raisins I can find just for my Pauli Palau. Oh my God, they have the, I call these mini rots, they're calling them tandoori cookies, but these are like the baby rots that you eat we used to actually, when we'd go to California to visit my grandmother, we would go to the local Avon bakery, buy a bunch of these, and fill a box like this, and take it on the plane as a carry-on, because we live in Ohio, we didn't have access to stuff like this that easily. Oh, this is so cool. They also have chutney. Avon chutney is actually different than some of the other chutneys you might have had. Um, it's walnuts and cilantro and so much deliciousness. I will actually, oh wow. They have saffron green tea. I'm opening this. This is so cool. So these are green tea packets with saffron inside. Saffron or zafaron as we call it is um, this specific type of tea is something that we enjoy, particularly from my dad's region of Herat. We throw cardamom and saffron in our tea. It's so cool that they already did that two in one. Huh, this is so awesome. And probably I'm assuming a little bit more cost effective than buying your own saffron for your house. Saffron is pulled from the individual stems inside of a flower and so it's a very expensive product although very delicious so i have it in my home but i use it very sparingly and carefully and it's so cool that i can be a little heavy-handed with my tea now 
Oh my God. I am so excited for this product and I cannot wait to try it. This is Kurut. Kurut is a type of yogurt that we use in a lot of Afghan dishes, especially one of my favorites, Kajiri Kurut. Um, I didn't know that they sold this. This is so cool. So they call it on the label authentic Afghan weight cream. And what Kurut essentially is, is the dried yogurt balls. Yogurt is something that has to be preserved in a refrigerator. That wasn't something that was necessarily possible for all Afghana. So you did dry the yogurt balls and then they'd um, use those dried yogurt balls by mixing it with water again to create that yogurty sort of consistency. And they've done the whole thing for you here. Ooh, red hot chutney. So this is spicy chutney. We usually, if Afghan food is going to be spicy, it has a very um, mild spice profile. We don't typically eat spicy foods, but we will have things like red hot chutney on the side for folks that want a spicier kick to their food. People like my dad and my little brother. My baby brother is gonna die when he tries this. I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, this just, I mean, this whole box really makes me feel like I just got a big hug from home. I have been so homesick with COVID. It's just tough being away when you grow up in such a tight-knit family where everyone's all in your face all the time. And this makes me think of my grandmother's house. Simeon is a natural chickpea snack. It's um, a bit of a spicy sort of dried uh, chickpea chips, I guess is what you'd call it. Imagine hot Cheetos, but if they were made out of chickpeas, I know it sounds a little bit odd, but they're so addictive. And my grandma keeps these on a little bowl on her coffee table. Every time you go over her house, she has them. And oh, they have halal licorice. You know, the kind of like, these look like Sour Patch Kids, that sort of thing in elongated form. And they're halal, that's so cool. I love that they have these halal goodies that you don't have to worry about reading all the ingredients and stuff. Oh, and see, this is what I meant about the raisins. So these are the black raisins and here's the red ones, the Avon raisins. They're all so delicious. There's so many different types of Avon raisins. I am so excited to try these as I haven't done so before. Oh, this is so clutch. They even have the slivered almonds that I use as a topping for Kabuli Palau. And they're already pre-cut down the way you need. That's so cool. And of course, oh, what? Saffron Silla rice, long grain basmati rice. This is so cool. I am gonna have to read a little bit more about this to see what is particular about this rice brand. I haven't ever tried it before. I have seen it actually, but I just didn't know enough about it to try it. So I'm gonna try this. It's so nice to just have a feeling of home. It's awesome that you can get a one product straight to your door just through online ordering now. But they're actually based in what we call Little Kabul, AKA Fremont, California. So it's so cool to see an Afghan American brand providing so many of the goods that we use in our day-to-day -day cooking. And I just wanted to highlight them so that you all can decide if you want to support more Afghan businesses and find the authentic ingredients for your cooking. This is another option that you have. It's so great to have you in my living room and share this fun experience of discovering all the cool products that I didn't even know existed within this brand. Thank you for joining me in my living room. It was so much fun unboxing together. Join me next time here on Imone Sun. Love this.